Now, Don, I'm an absolute sucker for Remedy games. Oh, totally. The Max Payne series was great, and Alan Wake was something special. And, and, and I think that's what's always done. They've, they've, even when pe people have probably said to them, "Guys, come on, that's a bit dumb." They've just gone, "Nah." No, and they, they just come with it. They've, they have a commitment to a style of storytelling for sure. Yeah. They've always dabbled with full motion video and having a TV series within the game, but with Quantum Break, they've just wholly committed and made a TV series for their video game. Which is yeah. So obviously in Alan Wake, you had Night Falls, Night yeah. Springs. Night Springs. Well, I can't remember which one. Anyway, Night Springs, which was kind of Lynchian, kind of explained furthers the plot, explains things like that. But it was always kind of a side part. It has that in this, except that it is full episodes based on the decisions you make in the game. It's a 23 minute Netflix style episode, right down to the point where it streams down to your console in between the gameplay acts. And almost like, <sighs> it, it's sort of supposed to be front and center, but it almost feels like a web series from 2006. At least it's yeah. well produced. At least it's, it, feel, it feels at like, least like Galacticus yeah, short movies. It feels like a decent sci-fi movie until you pay too much attention to the acting, which is weird. Considering you've got big names like Sean Ashmore and Aiden Gillen playing the two yes. main characters here, and and like when you do, uh, I guess perhaps it's sometimes that kind of cultural clash where they don't know how to approach a situation. They know how to act on TV, but this is not quite TV, and yet it's not quite as bad as David Lynch because uh, David no. Lynch, David Cage, no. I love David Lynch, um, because there's actually things to do in it. So there is shooting still. Um, you know, there is like obviously. Um, You've got time powers because time, quantum break, quantum break. Yeah, and you have a lot of time powers. You can stop time, create a time shield, yeah. just do a time dodge. And, and I, you get Batman vision. Yes, time vision it's called. Time vision. And I like the combat scenarios, except there just aren't enough of them. There aren't enough yeah. opportunities to go full Hotline Miami and puzzle out using your time powers a way to get around this combat encounter. Plus, when it's all said and done, the, the shooting is still a bit janky. All Remedy shooting has been janky. Even Max Payne was, except for the fact that you could slow down time and yeah. make it easier. But you know, Alan Wake uh, was janky, and this is still janky. But it's still enjoyable, it's still fun, and like I say, like it, it's... It is what you make of it. Like you can just go around using, you know, fake time grenades to kill people, or you can. It's it's really really good fun. But as an experience, like as a whole package, though, Remedy have a have a history of dropping the ball right at the end. Oh, and it absolutely falls face first at the end. And I'd almost say that the whole what's called visual media experience it doesn't quite meet its potential because the high story of time travel, time paradoxes. It doesn't fall, it doesn't play well on screen, and all the background lore is explained in many, 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 many collectibles that you have. Oftentimes, you'll spend like ten minutes reading a single one, but it just isn't p compelling enough to go through all four. Sure, the story has moments, but again, it just falls face first at the end. So when it's all said and done, its probably its biggest crime is not going full remedy. No, like it needed to commit, it needed to go all the way. And while it took the storytelling angles and the way that it told them to its logical conclusion, it just, it feels a little bit back of the boxy at times and to its detriment. But that said, it does come with Alan Wake and Alan Wake's now backwards compatible. So if you're really jones in for that fix, go do that. Subscribe.